Hey guys, welcome back. Hillside Gardener here. Today, January 27th, had a nice warm day, nice uh, change of scenery from the last couple, I'd say last two weeks has been very cold, very below average. So today, what we got hit for us, do a little compost action, little uh, add a little soil amendment to the pile here, show you what's going on. Most people will wait until right at springtime and they're gonna go out and they're gonna buy bags of compost or bags of soil and they're gonna wanna add that you know, right before they plant which is fine if that's what you want to do. My approach is I like to follow the natural rhythm of things. So in the fall, what's going to naturally happen? Leaves are going to fall, the plants are going to decay and rot and whatnot. And it's going to get eaten by bacteria, fungus, mycorrhizomes, all this kind of stuff. And by the time spring comes around, all these things are broken down and incorporated into your soil, right? So no one goes around plowing up the forest and it seems to do just fine, growing back every year without anybody's assistance. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is, wow, just how I do some of my, uh, this is cold compost. Um, it's not in a compost bin, as you see, it's just a little pile right here. But let me show you what I've done and talk about what I'm gonna do now because uh, it might be controversial to some people, but others maybe not. All right, so looking here, this right here is wood ashes. You wouldn't be able to tell, by the way, just looking at it, but that is, wood ash. However, this has been piled outside and has been rained on and, you know, frozen, thawed, frozen, thawed, and incorporated with a little bit of the native soil. There's a big rock right there. You don't want that in there, but wood ashes, another rock. Anyways, a lot of people will say, don't add wood ashes to your garden. And to some extent, that's true. You don't want to put fresh wood ashes pretty much on anything. You can see some of the nice charcoal pieces there. Um, and I agree with that. However, I always add about yes, two or three buckets full every year of wood ashes to my compost, but I do that in the winter time like today, that way it gives it all winter long to break down and be incorporated into your compost where you're, as you're not just adding fresh ashes to your garden, which can have a uh, tendency to create a pH imbalances um, and it can really just disturb the, the uh, microorganisms in the soil if you add with too high of a rate. So what I like to do is this. Now looking at the compost pile so far, this is all gathered leaves. And this is, I'm saying, it's about knee high. This is almost two and a half, three feet tall, probably six feet wide. Um, and that's very thick, it's, it's soaking wet here. But on top, I've been adding, continuously adding more and more food scraps like this. What I did is I got three five gallon buckets, so do your math, that's 15 gallons uh, fresh horse manure. Um, and you can still see, like right here, and it's not broken down at all. Still pretty fresh. And the reason why that's okay is, like I said, this is January. So adding it on now actually adds a lot of green material when there's not a lot of green material around for your compost. Uh, when it does start warming up in the spring, um, it's going to heat up faster and help break down all the leaves which are underneath. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to add some of the wood ashes on top uh, and we're going to spread those around and then over time with the rain, snow, etc. the ashes are going to work themselves down into the compost pile uh, which will actually add a, bit of, will add a benefit to the soil and the structure of your compost whenever it's finished. And now we are back once again. And you can see with my fork here, the wood ashes here on top are nice and crumbly, broken down. That manure there is frozen solid like a brick there. But there you go. So all I'm gonna do now is just lightly kind of do one of these things. Just kind of spread it around. Get all that wood ashes there on the top. Nice little layer. And like I said, as it rains, as it snows, that's gonna break down. It's gonna soak itself in. No need to turn this over now, be in January. You're just gonna, where it's so cold, it's not gonna have any kind of real, real benefit. But closer to spring, I will start turning this pile more often, increase the aeration, get some more water circulated through the pile here, uh, raise the temperature and help break this all down. But like I said, here in January, not a lot to do. Sometimes you just gotta find a, find every opportunity you can to do something to help your garden out. And this is what I chose to do today. All right, but like I said, you gotta take every opportunity you have in the wintertime days like this to do something to, to improve your garden because days like this don't happen very often. 
especially in January. So thanks for uh, tuning in. Hope you guys are all doing well and hope you had to do something today to help your garden come spring. <laughs>